Yo, what's up everyone? It's WBC Sports with some Major League Baseball history. In this series, I'll be going over 30 of the major events in Major League Baseball history. There will be some that even non-baseball fans will know, such as Jackie Robinson and Lou Gehrig's last game, but there will be some that only the dedicated baseball fan knows, such as the Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale salary holdout and George W. Bush's first pitch. It will be informational for even the dedicated baseball fan like myself. I even learned some stuff in taking notes for this. It will also help you if you need something for a school project or just to blow away your baseball friends with your outrageous knowledge. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new so you can stay updated on sports throughout the seasons. Make sure to show this video to a friend. It would be lit if you could take the confidential quiz, link in bio, to support the channel. Props to you if you take the quiz. Thank you so much. Alright, catch me on the first slide. It's common knowledge that Abner Doubleday invented the sport of baseball, correct? Well, that's what many people think, but the true inventor of baseball is relatively unknown. There was no mention of this ball and a stick in his diaries or personal writings. He was credited with the founding of the sport posthumously, so obviously there was no way he could discredit himself. As for the making of the rules, that is believed to be a different guy, Alexander Cartwright. Alexander Cartwright was with the Knickerbocker Baseball Club on September 23, 1845, but some of the initial rules were written. Several rules are known to be his creations, such as the tag rule, the foul lines, and the length of the bases. Initially, it was 42 paces from home to second and first to third. He also said that the first team to 21 runs would win. As you can tell, those rules were very different than they are today. We see tens of professional games on TV a day, right? It seems monotonous. I would even side with people who believe that. But I still love the MLB. Now, if you were watching the first professional game ever played, would that be crazy? There were mentions of a game similar to baseball in 1791 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. However, the first official game took place on June 19, 1845. When I tell you the name of the teams that competed, you will be like, what the heck are those names? Are you ready? Three, two, one. The New York Knickerbockers and the New York Gotham Club. No, the Knickerbockers have no relation to the NBA team. Those teams' names blow me away. We won't see today's baseball teams surface until 30 or 40 years later. What's a curveball? I'm sure most of you can answer that, even if you aren't a baseball fan. It is used in very common phrases like when life throws you a curveball, or something of that nature. Furthermore, nobody knows the inventor of the curveball. Myself, being one of the biggest baseball fans that I know, I didn't even know. His name personally makes me laugh, Candy Cummings. Bizarre name, right? Anyway, he got the idea by throwing clamshells into the ocean. Then he wondered, can I make a baseball curve? He did experiment after experiment after experiment and finally figured it out in 1867, several years after he got the idea. He learned to roll it off of his second finger and quickly jerk his hand. Candy never told anyone how he did it, so it took other people several more years to learn. Professionally, he had a virtually pathetic career. I know I say pathetic, but to Major League standards it was. He was 21 and 22 when he retired. What else could get any more strange about Mr. Cummings? The first all-professional team made their way into the world only two years after Cummings discovered the curveball. Yep, that was the year the Cincinnati Red Stockings became relevant. They literally annihilated every team they played the first season. They finished an unbelievable, undefeated season, 57-0. They put Cincinnati on the map for sports. Today, the Cavaliers are the only other relevant team. To quote Mr. Rice, all other teams are irrelevant. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. If y'all can, hit the like button and subscribe. It would really help, and you are the realist. Make sure you hit the bell when you subscribe so that you're notified when I drop a new video. I hope to be dropping more events through the season on major events in the major leagues and other sports. If you have any questions or want me to answer them, ask them in the comments. I will read through the comments and help y'all. If you could do something for me, it would be awesome. If you could take the two minute quiz that is attached in the bio, that would be lit. Thank you for all the support and peace.